What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Let's talk about Evo. So Evo was this past weekend, and it was fucking phenomenal. Shout outs to Punk for winning and finally getting over the hump and becoming the first American player to win an Evo in Street Fighter in 20 years. Congratulations, my friend. That shit is fucking dope. You deserve it. But we're not here to talk about the actual tournament or the results itself. As you guys can see in the picture, we have more Evos. And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Apparently, it is a debate among people that we got too many Evos now. So that's kind of what I want to talk about. I want to talk about, to you guys about the amount of EVOs that we have, whether or not that's a good or bad thing. So let's go ahead and get started because I don't have a lot, a lot of thoughts, but I got some. So we've already had EVO Japan for a while. I think we had EVO Japan for like, since 2019, 2018. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too sure. But it's been around long enough that it's established as like EVO. Like we don't question EVO Japan anymore. The two new locations we got this or coming up are EVO Los Angeles and EVO in Nice. Is that how you, that's how you say it? Nice Paris? It's in France or pa Nice Paris. Nice France. EVO's in fucking France. That's so fire, bro. I think that's cool. But one of the big discourses around EVO this announcement is the number of evos so obviously we know evo las vegas is the og one it started as battle of the bay battle by the bay b3 and it evolved into evo and that evolved into this massive tournament slash convention that we have now i was lucky enough to go in 2016 for the first year of street fighter 5 it was actually at the venue it was at this year and i had a shitload of fun even though i was there by myself and i'm hoping to go back next year and compete in street fighter 6. as far as the brand and the amount of evos that we have i personally think it is fucking dope Obviously, the Evo in Paris is fucking an amazing idea. An Evo in Europe is like the next logical step in my mind. We have the Evo America, we have an Evo in Asia, we have Evo Japan, and now we have an Evo in Europe. And that covers almost all the major regions in the world. But overall, I'm super excited that we have a lot more Evos to not only go to, but watch, man. Evo is so hype. And I don't doubt for a second that the Hado and the team behind them and the budget behind them is going to be slacking at any of these Evos. I expect the same quality in Vegas, of Vegas, to be in LA and in Nice. I don't expect a drop off in quality. I do expect them to be a smaller scale Evo because I think it's understood that Evo Vegas is the granddaddy of them all, the big guy, the one that matters the most. Even Mena RD, he's won Evo Tokyo or Evo Japan, but he still wants that Evo Vegas title because that's the Evo title. Winning these other Evos, these smaller Evos, I think there's still going to be some prestige behind them, but obviously not the prestige or fame that winning Evo Vegas will bring. And I think that's understood. Like everybody knows that. Everybody knows that if you win Evo Nice, you can call yourself an Evo champion, but we know and you know that you're not the Evo champion until you win Vegas. Another reason that I think that it's a good idea to have these different Evos is that when I went, it was on a smaller scale, but I know the people that went this year are definitely feeling it. Evo Vegas is morphing into a convention as much as it is a fighting game tournament. And I think having these other Evos is going to be pure fighting game Evo, no convention bullshit attached. But other than that, man, it's going to be Evo and it's going to be fire. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me and this conversation on Evo. Let me know what you guys think. Do we have too many Evos now? Are we diluting the prestige of winning Evo? Let me know how y'all feel and I will see y'all next time. Peace.